A Course of Love Epilogue A Note on Being Ah, imagine now that it will be like to have nothing left to learn, nothing left to become. The pressure is off. The alchemy has occurred. The coal has become a diamond. Ah, imagine now being able to forget all ideas of self-improvement. Imagine how much time will be saved by this quest coming to an end. But what now will you do? What now will you be? Believe it or not, you will find these questions arise less and less until soon and very soon they will be entirely gone, never to be asked again. Why? Because now that you are being who you are in unity and relationship, these questions will make no sense to you. They already have far less power. Can you not feel it? The questions remain only as questions of the old patterns of thought, patterns that you need only be aware of before choosing them to have them gone from you. This is the only choice you will still have to make, the choice to leave behind the old in order to be. You are in relationship now only with love and so nothing will be hard for you. Desire an old pattern to be gone and it will be gone. This little note added to the end of our mountaintop time together is only here to help you realize and accept that this will be so. Do not expect difficulties and they will not arise. You have returned to your true nature. Perhaps you will remember that within a course of love you were once asked to imagine the ocean or the cheetah or the sun or the moon or God himself attempting to learn what they are. They are the same as you. All exist within you. You are the universe itself. You are returned to your natural self and as you begin to move more fully back into your life you will realize where the differences between this natural self and your former self lie. You will realize that you know what to do. You will realize that there is no will be, that you are and that you will respond as easily to your surroundings as does a, the cheetah to his. This little note is just included to tell you to expect this. Expect heaven on earth, you were told. This is what it is. There will be no doubt, no indecision. Your path will be so clear to you, it will be as if it is the only path in the world and you will wonder why you didn't see it all along. Expect this and it will be. So be it. There is no becoming. As you are no longer becoming, there will be no becoming projected from you unto the world. There will be no projections at all and this is why you will see so clearly. You will see what is. You will create what will be through the extension of love. This is all. So be it. You no longer have a universe of projection to maintain, but a universe of love to enjoy and a universe of love to create. So be it. For as long as you know that what I am telling you is true, for as long as you carry this knowing within yourself, this is how long the eternity of being will be for you. There is no one to turn out the lights for you. Drift from knowing to unknowing, close your eyes, and you can experience the stillness of not knowing, the rest and calmness of nothingness. You can experience non-being and in a similar fashion drift as gently as your own desire arises into all being. Mainly you will enjoy being, being who you are. You will be happy, you will be content, and you will know unerringly how to act naturally from your being. You can do everything you did before or nothing you did before, all with the total confidence of being. You need not worry about this joy being selfish, for there is no such thing in unity. You will share your joy continuously just by sharing yourself. You will not realize that everything has changed until you realize or make real that change. Let this revelation come to you. 
All you need do is expect it to come and it will come. So be it. You will also not realize that you have chosen nothing until and unless you realize that everything has not changed. Let this realization come to, come to if it must and make a new choice. The future is up to you. What you realize now you truly make real as your being applies love's extension to all with whom you are in relationship. You will no longer need to think about who you are and what you will do and your willingness to give up this thinking will be paramount to your realization that everything has changed or that nothing has changed. These are both possibilities as all possibilities are yours. Which do you choose? There is no longer an in-between unless you create it. You have taken the step of accepting the relationship of the be between the relationship of Christ into your own being. The cooperative relationship of all with everything abides within you now. You do not and cannot decide what to do with it. You can only be it. This is the choice you have made to be. So be it. You do not think as yet think you know how you how to just be and this is why in a sense this dialogue in this form must come to an end the dialogue you will carry forward with you with your realization of being will be a different dialogue this dialogue has been your final quest it is the final quest in the quest for being because the quest has been accomplished fulfilled and completed leave these words behind now and bring only the dialogue with you. You will unerringly find those who can engage in the new dialogue, those who have chosen the new, those who seek to share and exchange in harmony. Thus will you begin your number and your numbers increase. Do not be afraid now to be who you are. Do not think you need to be something different, something other than you have been. Leave all thinking behind. Leave all notions of being better, smarter, kinder, more loving behind. Realize that these were all thoughts and notions of becoming. If you hang on to them, your being will not have the change to realize and make real its being. You will be different only if you allow and will yourself to realize and make real this difference. It is a difference between becoming and being. It is all the difference in the world. It is the difference between separation and differentiation and union and relationship. This difference, if you will allow it to come, will take away all worry, all thought about how to could be better, how you could be better, more, greater. If you still possess some things that you would consider character flaws or faults, forget about them now. In being they will be yours or they will not. You will be happy that you have these aspects of humanness or you will not and they will be gone. Do not expect the same unhappiness with yourself. You are fine. You are being. You are being fine. So be it. If you will but let it come, you will see that you are being who you are, being for a reason, for a purpose, a purpose that will be so clear to you that you will joyously accept yourself for who you are being. So be it. It will be possible for you for, for a while to drift between being and becoming if you are not vigilant of your thought process. This will not take long, however, to overcome, for once you have begun to realize that everything is different, you will not desire to turn back, not even for the familiar thought processes that, although they have bedeviled you, you have held dear. When you meet what you would have before seen as difficulties, as you encounter a world where love still opposes where love still does not seem to reign. When you meet that which could oppose love, remember that you are now the bridge between this creative tension of opposites becoming one. Remember that this is creation in the making. 
Remember that you are a creator. Never forget that in being who I am being, you extend only love. This one note, this tone, this cant canticle of joy, this celebratory Alleluia is all you need to return to. All you need to keep in hand should doubt arise. This one note is so full of love, so powerful that it will be dear to you forevermore. You will remember just briefly as you reread it. In your quick, uh, in your quickly passing times of doubt, how different you are. You will recall with poignancy who you once were, but you will not turn back. You will now that all turning back would be but a retracing of a circular route you have travelled from yourself to yourself. What will be there to strive for? What quest will replace this quest for being? The quest for love's expression, the quest to see, experience and share as many of love's expressions as the world needs to be returned along with you to its own self. Does this seem like a long and harrowing road? An endless quest? An endless quest for love's expression? Is eternity itself? Be happy that there is no end in sight to this road you travel now. It is simply the road of what is endlessly creating, like unto itself. You now know how to respond to love, for you are love, being, so be it.